Well, hey friends, and welcome back. Today, I want to share with you my entire minimalist, minimalish wardrobe. And I love keeping a well-curated closet filled with not too much, not too little, but a comfortable amount of clothing and items that I love and that inspire me. And I've never gone in and counted exactly how many clothing items I owned before. Not really about that life, although we are going to do that today. But I do like to try to keep things simple keeping only the things that I actually wear and get value from. So I'm excited to share this little glimpse into my closet and to try on and to walk you through both the more casual and elevated pieces that I wear on a daily basis. So with no further to do, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button below for more simple and intentional living videos coming at you twice a week. And let's get right into this. All right, let's start with tops first, and you'll see that I have a lot more tops than anything else. My sort of wardrobe philosophy is that I like to have a few basic bottoms that I can mix and match with various tops. It's what I feel most comfortable in, and in my experience, it also gives me the greatest versatility with my clothing as well. For the most part, my wardrobe is pretty neutral, but I do like to keep things interesting by throwing in some more earthy colors and a few fun patterns. I'm also a big fan of flannels and cardigans and have a few of each. What I've discovered is that when I come across a style that I really like, I don't mind buying it in a few different colors because I know that it's something I'm going to wear. And while it's definitely fun to try new things, I do always find myself gravitating back towards some of those basics that I love. Then if you know me at all, you know that I'm a huge lover of all things cozy. And so proportionally speaking, I do have quite a few sweaters compared to the rest of my closet. They're definitely my favorite category of clothing and I love all of the ones I have. Especially this alpaca sweater from Everlane though, it is an all time favorite for me. Also, since I do work from home, my wardrobe definitely leans on the casual side. I do have some nicer pieces, but for the most part, I like to keep things comfy. But that's all my tops, so moving on to jackets, I have just two. This windbreaker is another one of my favorites. I've had it for a few years now, and I just love the style, color, and silhouette of it. And then I also just have a basic black puffer for the winter. And then for bottoms, my go-to is definitely a good pair of jeans. And recently, I've become a big fan of Madewell's Kirby Perfect Vintage Jean. As someone with wider hips and a narrower waist, I find the fit of these to be fantastic and they're super comfortable as well. So I've got two pairs now, but you can definitely bet that as other pairs of jeans of mine start wearing out, I'll probably be replacing them with more of these. And with my pants, I like to keep things very minimal and neutral. I like to think of pants as kind of the building blocks for everything else that I wear. And so pretty much all of my bottoms are either black or some wash of denim. And easily one of my greatest thrift scores ever are these vintage Levi's. They're perfectly broken in and just go with everything. And you'll notice that with all of my shorts, I tend to favor pretty much the exact same fit. I love shorts that cinch you in at the waist and have a bit more space in the hips and legs. Not only do I find it a lot more comfortable, but I think it's a lot more flattering too. Okay, on to dresses. This is definitely one area where I like to have a little bit more fun. You'll notice a lot more color, texture, and patterns here. And apart from the fact that I primarily wear dresses when I'm trying to dress up, I also feel like the fact that you're wearing just one item of clothing that's meant to make a bit of a statement makes me a bit more comfortable getting a bit more experimental. I also have one jumpsuit and one romper that I'm going to include here. I feel like they accomplish pretty much the same thing as a dress, it's just a basic, easy, one-piece outfit. And then I do also need to give a quick shout out to this dress. This is easily one of the most comfortable items of clothing that I own. Oh, and forgot to take a video of the bottom half of the romper, but it's just got shorts underneath and you get the idea. It does have just the cutest floral pattern though. 
And then for shoes, I like to have one to two of each of the basic types of shoes that I need. So I have one pair of flip-flops, one pair of heels, one pair of sneakers. You get the idea. And then for the types of shoes that I like to wear more often, I like to have a few extra options that I can mix and match with each other. And what I like to do to add as much versatility as possible to my wardrobe is to pick them in different colors, textures, and materials so that they look as different from each other as possible. That way, even though I have a fairly minimal number of shoes, I can still keep things interesting. And boots are, without a doubt, my favorite genre of shoes. These ones from Nisolo, I feel like are just so timeless and classic. And then for Christmas this year, Christopher got me these ones from Timberland, which I think are just so fun. And then finally for bags, I have three. First is this crossbody purse that I got at a boutique in Florence last year. Then I also have one larger purse for days where I need to carry just a bit more around with me. And then finally is this backpack from ISM. I've had it for years and it's easily one of my most used possessions. All right, well that's it. That is all of the clothing that I own, minus a couple of pieces of sleepwear, activewear, and accessories. And I don't have too much to share in any of those categories, but I just wasn't sure that that was kind of what people were looking for in a video like this, so I decided not to include it. Plus, I'm not sure how I feel about sharing my sleepwear with the internet. Maybe that's just me though. But I hope you enjoyed coming along for this and kind of getting a glimpse into my closet. While by no means I would say I have the perfect wardrobe, and besides that's so individual to each person anyways, I really do love the clothing pieces that I have, and I would say that for the most part, all of the clothing that I own really does inspire me. It brings me joy. It brings a smile to my face when I get to wear them. And that really does make picking your clothes out for the day just so much more fun. I'm not weighed down by pieces that I don't love and so for me every option is a good option. So I love that and it definitely has taken me a few years to get to this point but I'm really happy with where I've landed with my wardrobe. Now I'd love to know though what does your wardrobe look like? Maybe what is one of your favorite clothing items that you own? I'd love to hear about it so definitely be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also I wanted to mention that if you're wondering where a specific piece is from or looking for a link to to that item where possible I am going to add a link to each item in the description box below however please understand that I try to keep items in my closet for multiple years and I do thrift a lot so the exact item might not be available and where that's happened I'll try to link to something somewhere but that's everything that I've got for you in today's video as always though make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time I hope you have an amazing day.